everyone and welcome to a very, very special Coterie In Session event. So I first started making wigs uh, 2012. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to wig wrap and keep the hair as flat as possible so that we can lose it and put this on. All I'm doing as I'm working through is spraying the section section by section, little small bits. I've worked from behind the ear. Simply just keeping it as flat to the head as possible. I've taken a circle kind of halo section out of the very top of the head. It's basically just to stop the bump. We do now kind of do less and less just armies of girls with the same looks walking down the catwalk. A lot of it now is quite bespoke. So I think maybe having bespoke wigs for people. I know that Balmain did the big hair swap and they had dark with light, so it's starting to come through. But I think for me, it's just showing an individuality. So if you look at the Kylie Jenner wigs and things like that, they've always got a bit of a regrowth. Like it's, yeah. it's trashy, but it's kind of really cool. fucking cool. I bleached up the ends to basically take the sheen off. I darkened the roots to kind of give you that natural effect through there and then worked with two different coppers just to try and make it look as natural as possible. I've put so much salt spray in here that it's just gone really matted. I dry shampooed it really for me to take the sheen off. So I wanted it to look like she'd been raving all night and she looks kind of like beaten up and grungy. And we have a, a general rule that you could turn up to a show with a Tesco's carrier bag of kit. We have an essential, you have salt spray, you have a diffuser bag. Um, some dry shampoo and to be honest we create some fucking great work so it all works well. This is Abby. 